Okay, this video is to see put it together the quick attach and uh, pallet forks from AI2 Industry uh, at BX Attachments. So just got it in a couple days ago. Um, Tony from AI uh, AI2 super easy to work with, super friendly guy. So it looks like a great build product. So, anyways, uh, this is going on a Kubota BX2230. Uh, I guess according to Tony, it's the first gen uh, Kubota. I already took the liberty of um, taking out the uh, front loader. So, there are just three pins on the left, center, and, uh, and right side. So... The pins are out. Um, the plan is to uh, take the pins out of the quick attach, reuse the original pins on the loader bucket or on the original arm, then use these that came with the quick attach back on the um, uh, original bucket. So let's see how let's see uh how it goes well uh pardon the mess got a bunch of stuff everywhere so we'll see okay so i've unbolted the pins that goes are on the quick attach so by the way this is just a uh, raw video so i'm probably gonna have to um uh, probably make mistakes, so whatever you guys want to comment, that's fine with me. I don't really care, but this looks like a great product. Anyways, um, I've already unbolted the pins, so you can see some of those videos um, that uh, Tony does on his, and his might be a little bit better, but this is just my version of it. So these pins slide right out and um, are to be used by uh, on the um, original bucket that you have and uh, this one is a half inch um, bolt that goes in here that goes through there and the one on this side is a 7 sixteenths oops can't be dropping And these come out fairly easy. So uh, that's all there's to it. So just keep track of all your uh, pins and bolts. Um, oh, by the way, when I took the uh, original bucket off the Kubota arms, uh, I didn't have any um, uh, bolts that goes through it. Mostly it's just, uh, it's just a, a cotter pin that go, uh, are in all three of these. So, I don't know if that's the way that they came from the factory or, um, but this uh, machine is a 2005, so it's one of the first generation. So, I don't know when they went back to pins or whatever, but I did realize there's uh, uh, grease ports on, on these, and I never n noticed those uh, since I had the machine. And there's another grease port on this pin right here as well. On this pin right here as well so um, probably need to be greased up so now it's just basically keep track of uh, don't lose these and they'll have, they'll they'll be used on, uh, on, on the uh, tractor bucket so next part is go from the quick attach to the loader arms uh, it's gonna it's kind of hard to film and uh, put this on at the same time so you'll just have to uh, I'll just show you what I did uh, after I got this installed okay guys um, this is gonna be have to be to be continued so what I made the mistake was I didn't let this ram out enough so I got the two ends in pretty easy as you can see so if you can see the clips that holding it and it goes in right in and on this side as well so but the problem is with this is I didn't let the ram 
out far enough to slide the pin in. Um, so probably it's going to have to be uh, a tomorrow project because to do that I have to fire up the engine and didn't want to make wake my infant up in the middle of the night. So to be continued. Hey guys, it's the next day. So the kiddos aren't up yet. So again, uh, probably not a good idea to fire up the engine in the garage. So I'm going to go uh, replace the uh, pins that came off the quick attached back to the bucket. So I got the center pin done, that went in pretty smooth and no issues, lined it up, the bolt fits, but I did realize that um, the, um, the pins at the end, the bolts that came with it does not fit, the quarter inch bolts does not fit. Um, the original one just had um, uh, cotter pins slid in there, which... I reuse on the quick attach probably should probably switch maybe switch that um, to the um, bolt that came with it and you reuse the original cotter pins but I'll give that a try so I'm um, gonna try to finish uh, tightening down here and this bucket will be done and I will continue on with the quick attach install so this is the bucket for the BX2230 Okay, all the pins are going back in, uh, it's back installed, so I did have to go find a couple of cotter pins to fit this part, because the holes on the original ones are too small for a quarter inch bolt to go through, so, um, just, just a note, get a couple of extra cotter pins, uh, I think the length is about an inch and a half, I think. And the original bolt is uh, uh, for the sides or a quarter inch uh, bolt. I don't know if Tony machined them or it's something that you can just pick up by the hardware store. But uh, the older, I guess, BX style takes a pin on either side. But the center one fits perfectly. So um, that's it for now. And I still need to go finish up a quick attach and, um, and put together the pallet fork. So stay tuned. Okay, finally getting able to get back to this. Everyone's awake, so let me see if I can fire this up and extend the um, the center hydraulic to get this in the install. Okay, be right back. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Extended this out a few inches and let's see if I can install it. So I'm gonna have to um, pause it and uh, hard to do this with uh, holding the phone camera and uh, installing this. So um, I'll be right back. Uh, you guys will see it instantly. Okay, guys, I finally got it installed. So the BX2230 actually has a pin not a bolt that goes through it, and there's cotter pins underneath so I had to scrounge up another cotter pin and try to bend it so this uh, center pin will stay in place but uh, as you can see I just have pins on the ends over here and over here um, got everything greased up on the 2230 the grease port is down here I don't know if you can see or not it's actually down in here so I had to curl the uh, quick attach to get to it and the center grease point is in the roll pin itself it's right here I don't know if you can see it it's right here so that's pretty much it and thank you Tony for a very well designed product uh, it literally probably if I uh, had everything together uh, probably took 20 minutes for everything to put together so it's very easy easy easily put together um, well thought of um, again a great product oh I have to mention that the um, uh, make a correction on the center 
bolt that goes on the original bucket. It's a half inch head, but the bolt itself is probably uh, maybe five or seven sixteenth bolt. So that's the correction. Everything else is uh, is okay. Yeah, this thing is great. Didn't have to fight it or anything to it, but it's on there. Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, and the next step is probably put the um, uh, pallet fork on. Thanks again. Okay, here's the pallet fork that I just put together. Um, the shipment comes in two pieces, the carrier and the forks itself. Uh, I just literally just picked it up and mounted onto the quick attach. So everything works very well designed very well and looks great thanks again i can't thank you enough tony for uh this whole setup um the uh the carriage is fairly it's pretty lightweight it's about it weighs about as much as the um quick attach and the uh forks itself seems like super heavy duty the both forks is probably way more than the uh the car carriage itself so anyways this is the setup how it attaches so um, if you guys are looking for something similar to this, uh, give put Tony a call. And if you guys want to comment about my setup, or how um, I messed the install, whatever, there'll be uh, you know any any comment uh, feedback is great. Thanks a lot. Bye.